Welcome back again. Uh, now, this time we're going to be looking at how to display and format um, multiple items that we re uh, retrieve from a, from a database. So um, last time what we did is we set up a dynamic query that would retrieve all the stock items belonging to a selected category. Now, um, we had that working, um, but we haven't had a way of actually displaying any results yet. So what we're going to do today is set something up that looks a little bit like this. So if I click on a ca category, it will return not just the category name, but also all the stock items and their prices. Um, so you can see here, each of these has oh, three. Okay, one of them, there we go, has four, it's got a slightly different number. So there's a little bit of formatting, these are sitting in like a little boxed div tag. So that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, and the linking, the dynamic linking, um, we will do in a subsequent tutorial. So anyway, um, starting from a blank slate, here we are in our category page and remembering just to go right back, this category page is sitting inside our main content area here, this little white blank space, um, as all pages are now but uh, going to be children of our index page. Now um, the first thing I'd like to do is deal with the situation where there's no items, so um, for example there, there's nothing in stock or um, we've added a category but we haven't got around to adding any stock to it yet, anything like that. So um, what we're going to do is do a quick little statement that basically says if the number of rows returned um, in our results is equal to zero then say sorry there's nothing in stock. So um, if we're using MySQLi num rows, so the number of rows in our oops, stock query variable if that is equal to zero, and remember the double equal sign there, if that equals zero, then we're just going to echo um, something like, sorry, we have no items currently in stock. Um, here we go. So that's the first thing. Um, however, if, the, if it is greater than zero, then we want to do everything after that. So I'll just open up the curly braces there. Oh, actually, sorry. Like so, clear some space. All right, so uh, that should hopefully deal with the situation where there's nothing in stock. So if I just come into here and say, um, here's skirts, that's category one. If I go category 10, there we go. Sorry, we have no items currently in stock, perfect. Okay, so if there is information in there though, we're going to need to display some stuff. So I'm going to um, put in the HTML formatting and then insert the PHP inside it. So I'll just quickly close off this PHP down here and reopen it for our closing curly brace. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to put in um, maybe an, an H1 tag which will display our... Uh, our category heading. So I'm just going to put that in there. Um, where I'm just hmm, okay. I'm just going to echo um, from the stock RS array. Now remember that's the um, associative array, so that has got all our uh, results organised by column heading, um, and the column heading I want is actually cat name and that was the alias that we created in the previous video. There we go, so semicolon n. Yeah, okay good. So I'm just going to save and again let's just check as we go. So if I click on skirts, we get skirts, dresses, pants and so on. Oh, good. So that's that's working. Um, the next thing we want to do then is we want to iterate through the stock RS array because there could be multiple items, in fact there probably will be. So I'm just going to um, start up the PHP again and this time we're going to do a do while loop. So we're going to do everything inside these curly braces while something is true. Okay. And then close the uh, PHP. And the thing that is true is while stop underscore s equals mysqli it's associative array sock and inside brackets there dollar sign stock query so basically while there is something in here to be organized into the associative array 
keep iterating through. So it'll just basically go through all of our records. Okay, so that should go through three or four times, I think, for most of our categories. Now within there, what we're going to do is display, um, we're going to put each thing in its own little div tag. And if you're not sure um, what I've done with the styling, just feel free to have a look in the style sheet. It's in the attached files. Um, but in this case here, I need to, again, close off the PHP. So I'll close it there and open it down here. And the div tag, um, I think the class is called item memory. I'm going to open that and close it down there. And the information that I want to display, I'm going to put them in their own paragraphs. The first one is just going to be uh, what's that, the name. So stock RS, that's the record set with all our information, and name, which is the column heading. There we go. So that should display the name of each item. So I'll just save that and hopefully this stuff has worked. There we go. Skirts. There we go. You can see it's just brought back the name of each dresses. There's the four of them. Great. Now uh, we should definitely have the price in there as well. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste that through. For this time instead of name, it's going to be price. Um, and just because it's always good to have the uh, currency, I'm just going to put a dollar sign there just before the uh, dynamic content is added. So what that should do now, if I come back here and refresh, it should just add the price. Great. So now what we've got uh, dynamic links that are generating dynamic queries and then the results of those queries are being displayed and formatted in not a pretty way, but they have been formatted using HTML and CSS. Okay, so that's what we're going to go and stop today. Uh, next time we're going to be turning these into links that will then drill down into a third page um, where we'll display more information about each item. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.